Hi folks, today I'm going to be playing a little bit of Descent 3 because, believe it or not, the source code for the game has recently been released by its creators on GitHub for free. Uh, so I've got an article up here which I will link to down in the description below, but it says here that the source code for the 1999's Descent 3 has been uploaded to GitHub. Uh, uploaded by programmer Kevin Bentley, who worked on the game back in the day, includes the 1.5 patch, um, but there are a few things missing, including proprietary video and sound libraries. So, like I say, link in the description to all of the details, but in celebration of a new game going open source, I thought, let's just give it a go, right? Now, I was a big fan of Descents 1 and 2 back in the day, but um, uh, Descent 3 actually is the only game that actually has given me any kind of travel sickness. Now, I've never really experimented with like FOVs and things like that with, with, with Descent 3 and it's an old game so I don't even know if they would have had them. Uh, but, without further ado, let's crack open a new game. I've set some controls, updated them a little bit. Um, and we're just gonna we're just gonna roll in. I'm gonna skip all the cutscenes and stuff. Now this is the version on Steam. I've just installed it, playing it through Wine. So this isn't exactly the uh, the same version that the open source version per se. It is going to have those non-free libraries. But from what I've uh, from what I've understood, there is some kind of effort underway to sort of fill in the gaps. Okay, so the basic premise of the Descent games is that you're a spaceship uh, in a zero gravity kind of environment and you usually clear out mines or mine-like levels in a combat spaceship. Uh, usually there is like a uh, reactor at the end of every level. I doubt we'll get that far, but you never know. Um, the controls are really fun. Now, I, I really liked Descent 1 and 2. Uh, they were, they're very old games. They, they, uh, they run on DOS and they were really good. Finished them both back in the day. Uh, difficult, but good. Uh, of course, they use old-fashioned controls. I'm using WSA and D in the mouse controls, which uh, I think I set them in custom settings. So we're going to be quite a nimble spaceship. So we're going to go from right here and uh, hello. Oh, okay. So we've got. Th oh, what are you doing there? See the control. It's just so fun. Where's he? Go? Where they go? Where they go? Oh. Ah, goodies. So it does have like it does have like a, uh, like a cartoon arcadey kind of vibe to it. Oh no! Get away from me. what's this one? And the graphics are kind of of its day, aren't they? But but they, they look perfectly functional. Actually, there's plenty of games from 1999 that don't don't look as good as this. What? Actually, that's a thought. Those of you, right? Down in the, the, uh, the old comments section. Uh, or on Macedon and, and, and all, the, all the rest. Uh, what is the most... What's the game with the, the highest graphical fidelity pre-millennial? What is the best looking pre-millennial game? Right, so do I just... Shoot through there. Okay, that's an NG. You can shoot the doors to open them. So, back when I was a wee lad, my introduction to this game was actually through my dad. And he had this, this tactic of whenever he would go through an area, he would like shoot out the wind. Oh, in Descent 1 and 2, you can shoot out the uh, the monitors there. And uh, because they, these are like maze like levels, uh, it's a good way of, 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 of working out whether or not you've backtracked on yourself. Now, like I say, Descent 3 is the only game that's ever given me like motion sickness or travel sickness or that disor disorientation sickness. And. And it was really bad as well. Like, I had to lie down for like 40 minutes. I know. I know. I sound frail as fuck. But. Okay. That goes outside. Descent 3 has open environments. And it has bigger environments than Descent 1 and 2. Again, I think to the detriment of the game. Also. Oh. Oh. Right. Completed. Deactivate the containment force field. 
Mm, mm. Where am I being shot from? Aha. Yeah. Shouldn't 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 have stayed stationary there. And these are mining robots. That's health, yep. Okay. And these environments, like, admittedly, right, one of the things I didn't really like about Descent at the time was uh, that the, the levels were all quite samey. But I kind of vibe with it a little bit more now. These levels I'm not so sure on. Because they're, they're little, they, they, I don't know, they just don't seem as natural. I don't know. I, I guess maybe there's, maybe it's like, oh, this isn't the old Descent games, is it? These aren't the old Descent games. I like the old ones. Right now, I don't even. I, I think I might. Am I going backwards? Yeah. Okay, that's yeah, that's going back. So, um, yeah. At any point during this run, I can, I can, I, I, I could just like sort of realize, realize the disorientation sickness. Oh, there we are. Ah, that's it. Yes. Okay. So now... Oof, what's going on? Right. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, this is disorientating. Mm, mm, mm. There you go. Oops, what's that? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Right. Let's get back in. Yeah. Whew. I'll tell you what. I think that disorientation's uh, coming back in as well now. Man, that's, that was weird. Yeah, see, Descent 1 and 2 don't have that. Right, space bar, continue back in. Yeah. Those outdoor levels, I don't know what it is about them. I do not like those. Um, yeah, I didn't like it last time I picked up the game, and I think I closed out about the same place. Um, yeah, this is like a seven and a half minute video. Christ, interesting, interesting outcome. Anyway, that's about it for me today. Um, as put off as I am by Descent 3, Descent 1 and 2 actually kind of, uh, I, I don't know, I kind of got that itch to, uh, to pick them back up again. Um, but yeah, hmm. You know, every now and then I do pick up Descent Three, and I always pick it down, or put it down around that space. Um, and it just, yeah, that's that was not nice. So, anyway, thank you very much for joining me. Um, I uh, I'm hoping to stream a lot more on Owncast as well um, in the future. So um, I'll put a link to my Owncast in the description of this video. And uh, if any of you folks would like to follow me, check out my stream. Um, then please feel free to do so. So, that's about it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I've been Chris Ware, and you've been awesome. Do believe.